here's my kit Pixlr. Um, I have installed and made a few modifications inside the fuselage, and the main one being where the ESC sits and the, the routing through of the cables. I've just enlarged the passage and smoothed off the corners so I can pull it through. Here's where the LEDs are installed. This is for mainly for orientation uh, when it's low light so I can tell where the plane's coming towards me or away. And here is my multiplex connector which connects the wing servos for both ailerons and flaps. Here it's quite obvious what I've done um, there where the dark grey bit is where the channel routed through and I've now trimmed that away um, and a clearer shot of the multiplex connection which I've dog legged down and round. Uh, so this makes a very neat connection, just a simple plug. This is the receiver, I've stripped the case out of the receiver to save weight. Um, and the ESC which I've now changed because this one had a better problem um, kept browning out so um, that's now changed and I have a 20 amp ESC in because the motor is 19 amps full throttle which um, I doubt we'll need very often anyway so it won't be pushing the boundaries even at 20 amps and here's the light on uh, there's a simple JST connection coming from the power uh, testing flaps. Position 1, position 2, and the ailerons, elevator and rudder. They're very bright, these LEDs, as you can see. Okay, so my all up weight is 950 grams, and this includes um, some nose weight. About 60 grams of nose weight has gone in, um, which I've wrapped around the battery to get it to balance at the C of G, which is exactly 70 millimeters, right on the spar, as you'd expect on a, a straight cord wing like this. Nothing complicated. Basically, just the thickest part of the wing is where your maximum lift is going to come from. And it, as you can see, it balances perfectly there with that amount of weight and a three cell 2400 milliamp battery in the nose. There it is, there's all the extra nose weight. So I'm going to purchase um, a 3.3, 3, so a 3,300 milliamp Turnergy uh, LiPo, which will weigh exactly the same as this battery, so I don't have to just carry around dead weight. I can actually carry around extra capacity in flight time, which would be much more useful. Um, this extra weight, I think, Partially has come from obviously because I've installed the CNC small parts motor mount um, so I can change out the motor and use a lower KV motor. Um, the motor weighs 67 grams and isn't that much further back from the, bunk, the actual center of gravity than the nose. So, um, you know, shifting it this 50 60 millimeters back from its normal position shouldn't add that much extra nose weight. But whatever's causing it, um, that's what's needed. So that's what I've done. And it seems to balance exactly as it should. So look, there's another view of all that extra weight, which seems just painful. Um, but we still have a one-to-one -one thrust ratio as this motor on an 8x6 prop, 3 cell produces 950 grams of thrust. 
so we're pretty much more than enough power to push this plane along. I reckon it will cruise along at third to half throttle, no problem whatsoever. Um, so I'm not too concerned. Okay, after much deliberation, um, I've chosen on two nylon wing bolts that bolt through the wing with a piece of carbon fibre that's inserted into both wings with matching 6mm holes, um, so it holds it securely in place. Um, it runs all the way through, as you can see here, and they just push through quite firmly and come out the other side. Um, I've got some nylon bolts which I'll put on the other side so I can screw into. Um, but these are very firm fitting, so it may not even be necessary. Um, you just pull it out here. As you can see, it's quite firm. And then slide the wing apart. There you can see it's a 10 mil flat piece of carbon. It's only half a millimetre thick. And then I can push that back in. Which runs through both into the other wing as well. Push it together, and, then and a bit of wiggling, line the hole. Just align the hole. There it goes. And okay, just face that forward. Minimise drag, as possible. and that That's is quite tidy. for me a fairly neat solution. I didn't like all the elastic bands and the Velcro that have been on YouTube before. Um, elastic bands just seem, well, unreliable, shall we say. And the ones that go over the top, I'm sure, cause some wind vibration. And I've got an ESC on the top, so I didn't want that going over the top, and it just looks unsightly. Um, this is the best method that I could think of. And light, too. Hardly any weight added. ready to maiden her tomorrow. Right, that was battery three. We'll see how long uh, that one lasts. I just want to put a fresh one in now. And then we'll go up and I'll put 20 minutes on the clock and see how we go. This is all, this is all the nose weight, 60 grams. This weighs 200 grams, a 2400 milliamp battery, just to get it to 70 millimeters for the C of G to balance but it seems to work really well I'm cooking up this bit I'm cooking up this Could I? Alright, just mind your fingers So we can cut it into that Otherwise you'll be littering. Huh? Be littering, that's a bad thing. Calm down. Are you filming? Okay, here's the maiden flight of the Bixler. Uh, Centre of gravity is set to 70 mil from the leading edge. Uh, let's see, it's a perfect calm day. And as stable as you like, yeah, very stable. Very well balanced.
Okay, well, that was not a single trim adjustment at all. Um, it just flew absolutely beautifully. So I'm going to try now. That was all flaps off. I'm going to try the flaps, see if I can slow it down. Um, and I didn't even get to full throttle. I was no more than half throttle on takeoff and gliding. So um, just check everything's okay. So let's do another takeoff. Okay, let's try the flat. Position one. Whoa, yeah, they had lots of lift to climb. Position two. Let's see if we can slow right down. Okay, it's about a third throttle now. Just floating, almost hands off. Elevator adjustment. I've got it mixed a bit. <laughs> 